here at Wonderstruck, we thought maybe we've done enough stuff with liquid nitrogen for a little while, but then doo, we completely forgot to build a mini basketball liquid nitrogen mortar. Oh. Well, you'll be pleased to know that we've rectified the situation and we have now, in fact, built our very own mini basketball liquid nitrogen mortar. And it works in exactly the same way as any other mortar, cannon or firearm. We have a tube which is closed at one end and inside that tube we're going to produce some rapidly expanding gas. Now as the rapidly expanding gas travels up the tube it pushes a projectile in front of it which then leaves the end of the barrel or the muzzle. Um, now our tube is the bottom half of an old CO2 fire extinguisher and we're adjusting the angle at which we fire it using a centuries old method of just a wooden wedge under the breech of the barrel. Our projectiles are going to be mini basketballs and we're going to produce our rapidly expanding gas by filling a small bottle uh, with some liquid nitrogen and uh, we're just going to use the principle of a boiling liquid expanding vapour explosion. So as the nitrogen boils to gas in the bottle the pressure will increase until the bottle ruptures and uh, hopefully we should produce enough gas expanding rapidly enough to shoot our basketball a fair distance. Right, well that first attempt didn't really go as far as we were hoping, so what we're going to try this time is a bigger bottle. Now, unfortunately our barrel is quite short in length, so this means that our ball will only just kind of balance in the muzzle, so I'm not sure it's going to have much effect. But anyway, we'll give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> well that wasn't bad, uh, I think I better go and get the ball back. Right, time for one last shot, use up our last little bit of liquid nitrogen. Uh, this time we're going to really use a slightly larger ball and ram it right into the muzzle and see if we can get that a bit further. The last shot went a good 200 metres and took a while to find because the grass is quite high in the field behind us. So here we go, final shot of the day. Well, that last shot was quite impressive, um, but I think we might have to do something about the recoil um, and we've unfortunately lost our mini basketball, but um, yeah, quite a worthwhile experiment. <laughs>